Hey, this is Chris, the tiny house guy. I have a new video for you today. This is my Woodland Mills HM126. And you're going to see bugs flying around the camera today because it is spring in New England and uh, mayflies, we call them, are out. So I have installed this digital readout. This is my project for the weekend. It's a eye gauging, easy V view DRO plus. It's a magnetic thing. And you can also bolt it on. It comes with some extra brackets. This is a little USB, uh, micro USB connector. And this wire goes all the way over here to this puck. It's a measurement puck and then this strip uh, that's mounted to the, to the uh, this is the original original plate where you put your, your magnetic gauges on. I've just sort of taken two of those off and I left the original yellow one on there and I've mounted this next to it, just like that. So let me give you a much closer view. Actually, you don't want to show it to you working first. So first of all, you'll notice that this says one. Uh, there's a preset function in here that you can use you have to read the instructions how to use it, but you basically can make it so that when you're at this position, in this case, it's the, the sawmill is, is lowered all the way down. So the thinnest board you can cut on one of these is one inch. And you maybe, you go, it can actually go a little bit less if you finagle it, but I have mine set to one inch. And so when I zero this, hold this short press, zeroes it, uh, it's at one inch. And so then as I go up, so I actually will go up, you see I'll go to two inches here. So there's roughly two inches. And this says it's two, 125, 128s, and there it is. So two and a 64. So there's two inches, two inches. So basically this, uh, the readout gives you absolute position from the bed. Um, and if you wanted to do, let's say uh, you were, let's just say, I was, let's go up a little bit to, uh, say we are at a four inch, say we're right there, right in the middle of this gauge. And we just cut a, we cut a log off. You know, we cut the, a cant off the top. Um, and now what I want to do is I want to cut a one inch board. So I'm going to have to lower this down one inch. How do I do that? I don't want to have to do the math between four and 83, 128. So I just want to see a readout. So there's this function called the ink. So you short press that and now it goes to zero. And so then as I lower this down an inch, you can see this will show me, whoop, there's one in a little bit too far. So there you go. Yeah. Probably going one and one sixteenth, count for the curve. That's roughly an inch. And so that way you never have to figure out, um, never have to do any math. You always know, you can just sort of create a new, um, sort of a new datum as you're going. And if you notice, if I go out of this, if I just short press this again, you see that I'm at three and 39 sixty fourths, which, yeah, three and 39 sixty fourths seems about right. So that is, uh, that should let you do everything you need to do, I think. Let me show you how I built this. I'm going to use my new macro feature in this camera. Look at that. New iPhone, whatever the hell this thing is. 13 Pro Max Plus, whatever. So let's go in here. So you can see, uh, that's the puck. That's the little measurement strip. If you go in there, I have this sort of mounted off of a, this is a piece of aluminum that I had to add to the top of this. So this is the, this piece comes with the mill. This is the metal piece that you stick your magnetic things to. I'll try and keep you in focus. I suck as a videographer, you're just going to have to deal with it. So there's that, there's the puck, and then if you look behind, I took the red pointer, let's see, get my finger in here, so this red pointer is the standard red pointer that comes with the thing, I just drilled two holes, you can actually see there's two screws back there, there's a bunch of mounting holes, like six mounting holes in the back of this, so you can pick two or pick three or whatever, I, I picked two and I put some, uh, those are three millimeter uh, metric screws. So I put those in the back, and so that's now attached. Uh, you do want to make sure this is lined up fairly well, otherwise you could run some issues. And then down the bottom, I've got the same thing. It's a, that's a 1032 screw. Um, it's got a, I sort of put a nut on the inside so the studs, so the stud stays in place. And if I want to take the my readout off, I can, this is actually a little bit loose still. I sort of tightened it up. Um, but if I want to take this off, I can just loosen up that screw and pull the, the readout off. I'll tighten that up in a second. So anyway, that is the readout. And what's cool about this is I can actually continue to use the, the gauge as it is. So this is the, and if I wanted to put a kerf gauge in there, I actually could do that. And in fact, this, this adjustment knob, uh, I'm never gonna need to use it, but that still works. Technically, I could, I could use that if I had to. So let's go back into one, there we go. So anyway, that is a uh, high gauging digital readout. It was 50 bucks on Amazon.
Anyway, so uh, digital readout, Woodland Mills HM126. Thanks for watching.